Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah HaKadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David the elect, to you I say greetings. Uh, so lucky if my camera is not on the best, I'm keeping it up as best as I can, you know, so I just wanted to uh, just do a little flow in the spirit um, as I'm driving back to my house. You know, so uh, I guess you know, just trying to think of what's on my what's on my spirit and what's on my mind, man, and and how how vexing Babylon is in the times that we're living in. You know, we we have to deal with uh, so many so many types of afflictions and so many types of things that that will piss you off and uh, that will vex your spirit and your soul, man. You know, that's why in Ecclesiastes it says. Therefore, I've hated life. Maybe I should just hold this. It says, uh, therefore, I've hated life because everything under the sun is vanity and vexation of spirit, man. And, you know, it's all vexing out here, man, because we got to deal with our enemies. We got to we have to deal with uh, Esau oppressing us, oppressing us, you know, oppressing the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics. You know, I'm, I'm riding down. I had to drive to a different city today. And I'm down there, you know, just talking to some of the Edomites and seeing the Edomites' lifestyle versus the one that we're currently living in, man. And, you know, the Lord blesses us with little things here and there. So, the water, y'all, about Shimei, I'll shout for that. But, man, just seeing how Esau is, like, base man, just... How they walking around so proud, you know, I guess like spring break is going on. So, you know, I'm in Florida and man, they just be out here flocking, living their life, getting drunk. And, you know, I, I just had some Edomites in my backseat, like, you know, doing Uber or Lyft or whatever. And, you know, they're talking about uh, how burned they are. They saw a guy riding on this thing. They're like, oh, my God, his back is finished. Eating my guys, get in my car, their head, hands are red and their shoulders and their backs and their faces. You know, hey, that's why the Lord calls them the people of his curse, man. You know, because they that's a curse in itself. You know, the one 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 eating my chicks like, yeah, uh, look, they don't have any water, they don't have any sunscreen. You know, hey, Jake, we don't have to carry sunscreen, man. But you know. The land that we're living in, they tell you that, that that red leprous skin is the way to go. They tell you that the so-called white man is the standard for righteousness, you know? But they show you more and more how based, how filthy, how wicked they are, you know? And see, they, they do little things like uh, uh, try to, you know, they might, if they see you're a so-called nice black guy, you know, they might tip you a couple extra dollars of you being polite in the car or whatever. And hey, don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But that only adds to Jake's under the spirit, of, through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemel Shah, Jake's tenderness, man. You know, Jake, for predominantly, we are a tender, uh, merciful people. You know, uh, our, we got two thirds that's wicked as hell, but even a lot of two thirds still have that level of. Uh, of generosity and play and tenderness, man. You know, of course, some of them just be in straight gangster mode and they don't give a fuck. But generally, you speak to a Jake when he not on his nigga mode, man. You know, you'll see the you'll see the 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 uh, generous generosity that's in him, man. You'll see how tender of people we are. But you get Esau getting in the car, you know, just talking all kinds of mayhem and havoc, you know, getting drunk and, and doing all type of abominations. That's what they do, man. You know, and so this is why we have to keep fighting for the truth, man. This is why we have to defend the gospel because it, the Lord ultimately gave us a duty. Okay, does it not say that in Ecclesiastes 12 and uh, 13? For this is the whole duty of man to serve them, to fear the Most High and keep His commandments. You know, so the Lord gave us a duty, man. And our duty is to be that standard of, uh, of meekness. That spirit of uh, of uh, gentleness and spirit of righteousness, because you know I say gentleness and tenderness uh, in the terms of you know dealing with other people, 
But honestly, man, they're they're not going to get that gentle tender. They get that gentle tender side of us from us now. But when the Lord returns and put His Spirit upon His men, it's going to be a completely different story. It's a lot here for my voice. I know I sound a little nasally, man. You know, and not to make this personal, but the Lord has been blessing me and plaguing me <coughs> at the same time. And see, that was the first cough I've had all day. But it's a lot here. I've been like mad congested. This is the first time I ever, I think I don't have like my sense of smell and my sense of taste, you know, but hey, the why do you how about Shimmy Alshon, man? We need new bodies. And that's just another example of it. But, uh, <coughs> so like it. But you know, we have to keep fighting, man. And we, we have to preach good tidings unto the meek and those that are uh, broken hearted and of a contrite spirit. Because <laughs> you see, uh, Esau out here, Esau isn't broken hearted. The so called white nation aren't broken hearted. But the nation of Edom, I mean, the nation of Israel, hey man, we're broken hearted. Even for those fools who believe that everything is right in their life, they're broken hearted. And they're broken hearted because they believe so. Because they think that everything is right, man. Those are just fools dece deceiving them very, their very selves, man. You know, so we have to keep <coughs> Salakia. <coughs> Salakia. Satan want to come out now and make me cough and shit. I ain't coughed all damn day. You know, but now that I'm going to do a video, the coughs want to come forth. You know, but like I said, man, it's all through the spirit of the Lord. We just got to remember who our power is, man, and that, why that's so important. You know, it's funny because people deny the name of the Lord and make mockery like uh, Nate Satan and IUIC. They make mockery of the name of the Lord. But if we are Hebrew Israelites, I was thinking about this today. If we are Hebrew Israelites, and according to Jeremiah 6 and 16, it says, stand ye in the way and seek out the old paths. So if we're coming back to our knowledge of who we were before captivity and before slavery and before we lost our nationality, isn't it common? Well, oh, let me not say that because common sense ain't always so common. And the Lord gave them up to a strong delusion. But isn't it common sense that if he led us up to false gods and false deities and we forgot our nationality, that he would take away his name and so that we would have to search that out again? Isn't that a part of the old path? Isn't that the main pillar that rests upon the old path? All right. Of you serving other gods, that means Jesus Christ is a new God, man. You got to seek the power of old. All right? And his name was Yahweh Shai, man. And the Heavenly Father's name was Yahweh. You got to seek that. You got to seek it. It says, search out, search out, prepare thyself for the search of thy fathers. And our fathers were for a fact not saying Jesus Christ. Our fathers for a fact were not saying, were not saying God. So these are the things that you got to take into consideration and really think about. So like you, y'all. And, you know, I'm one of them brothers when I be hearing brothers like coughing and, uh, you know, making nose noises and, and shit on the phone. I be like, man, hey, you need to stop that shit. <laughs> I don't say that to him. But I be like, hey, man, you know, redo the video, uh, you know, or just take it down. I be saying that to myself, you know, and hope I don't cause any offense by saying that. But. I say that because now I'm doing it, but I understand because when you down in the dumps or when you ain't feeling well and your body is giving you afflictions, that is no reason to stop pushing, man. You know, that is no reason to stop doing videos. That is no reason to uh, make an excuse to not go to camp. You know, hey, we all got fucked up bodies, man. It's something about all of our bodies that we want to be better. You know, even brothers who got no, uh, who even got uh, like so-called muscular bodies. I guarantee it's something about their body they don't like. Because these bodies that we have now are flesh. They're weak. they susceptible to, to uh, cold and sickness and disease. And intoxicated by, I mean, uh, 
You know, they're full of toxins with uh, Esau's. Uh, it starts in the mind. Esau's wine in our mind. It also goes to the food that we ingest, which affects our mind and our heart and our bodies. And the, the things in the air and the water. It's a lot here. All that plays a part. All that plays a part in uh, the, the wicked and corruptible body that we live in. That we that we're temporarily housed in. Let me say it like that. Because this is this is temporary, man. You read First Corinthians the 15th chapter, and read about those bodies, man. Those great incorruptible bodies that we're gonna receive. Those uh extraterrestrial bodies. You know, because the Heavenly Father, the Yahweh Shine, the angels, they got those celestial bodies right now. But we're going to have extraterrestrial bodies, man. And that was something that was pondering on my mind for a long time, too. Because, you know, the angels don't eat nor have sex. So I used to think, how we eat and have sex if we, we have bodies of angels? But we're not going to have terrestrial, which is what we have now. We're going to have extraterrestrial, which is they're going to be we're going to be able to do the things we do now, but with spiritual power. You know, so uh, I don't want to make this video too long, and I sound terrible. I need to blow my damn nose. So, so lock you. Um, my Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I know I didn't have my scriptures, you know, so lock you, but I, I brought a couple out through the spirit, roughly paraphrasing. So, man, seek out them old paths, follow after your how about should be out shy, and get ready for a new body. Lord willing, we know it's been. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal HaKadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect, uh, Shabbat Shalom, all right, brothers, the water for uh, listening, Shalom.